In the previous chapter, we introduced the model of program graphs. This is a model that is useful for a number of imperative programming languages. Usually we write programs in textual form rather than as graphs on an online system. Example programming languages are C, Java, and f -sharp. The syntax of a programming language is usually specified by a BNF grammar. Unlike ordinary grammars, it is intended to represent only the abstract syntax, not issues relating to parsing and how to resolve precedences of operators. The meaning of programming languages are described by giving their semantics. The approach we take in this book is operational in nature. When looking at more than one programming language, it is important to bear in mind that constructs that look the same in different programming languages may actually have subtle differences, and that constructs that look different may actually turn out to be exactly the same. So to summarize the role of program graphs, we will take programs and represent them as program graphs, and then we will apply semantics to the program graphs to describe what the programs are doing. This approach is applicable to many programming languages. In this book, we mostly focus on a somewhat unfamiliar language of guarded commands. In an appendix, you can see how to deal with a small subset of the language C. You can play with this setup using the system at formalmessagedk slash fm for fun. In the top left corner, you can write a program in guarded commands. The system will then draw the corresponding program graph in the bottom left corner. On the top line, you can choose the environments of stepwise execution. Below that, you can indicate initial values of the variables in the program. You can then press Show Trace, and the system will show an entire computation sequence starting at the initial node with the memory you just indicated. You can press the green plus at the bottom to get additional steps if necessary. 